Here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Puck Daddy Show. Gonna change the world with my hockey stick. Gonna make a real difference. Feed the poor and heal. Kicking it off hot. We're doing sty, no sty, or Puck Daddy. You all know the rules. Mm-hmm. I'm not even going to waste any time. I'm getting right into Let's it. Let's go. Sty or no sty. Checking if your stick is broken when you miss a backdoor tap in. <laughs> That's like sty. It's a sty. It's sty. It's sty. You got to. You get a little yeah. flex. You, little... you give it the little flex, like, or, oh. you, or you lift up the blade and give it a little, yeah, you little gotta, twist, a little look. Yeah, fault. You, you give it a dick's fault. It's a two part uh, right there. So you get a little, little flex, and then you pick it up and look at the blade just to make sure it wasn't you. It wasn't you my, that missed. My go to is I clear the snow off. Oh, yeah, I got to get the snow off. That's yeah. the part three. That's the finishing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah it was just, the snow. just a couple little, little heavy flexes on it. Uh, yeah. A couple little heavies. Just uh-huh. a ha ha. Yeah. Three part sequence, right? It's like, a, huh? Is this thing broken? Take a look at the blade. It must that, be broken. And that's huh? before you back check. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. before you start back checking. Yeah. Is a couple it's, flexes. The, yeah. the flex to inspect the blade. No? Nah? Oh, and there's some snow check. on there. Yeah, there's some snow on there. I think one time I took so long checking my stick that the puck was coming back in. I had to yeah. hustle to get on side. Yeah, and then you get the breakaway, though. <laughs> I've had that happen before. Like, you're, so, you're just sneak behind because you're just taking too long to back check? It, no, isn't yeah. it the best? Turn over and then you get sent on a B-way? Yeah. There's, there's a guy that, like, d- does you dirty, like, trips you right in the corner, like, slashes the stick out of your hand, and you're like, what the heck? And you take a few seconds to complain you the look ref. look at the ref, right? yeah. The and play it, goes the other way. Exactly. You're trailing. And you're like, come on. You. Maybe that's a strategy. You act mad just... You're, you're kind of like pouting. You're like, oh, right. You go get your stick. You start skating back. It is ridiculous. And then you, you see a turnover. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah. And right on your stick. You turn. Boom, you that's like when, yeah. that's oh. like when Marnard was tying beauty. a skate at the blue line the one time. Yeah, yeah. Remember that? And yeah. then the puck comes to him. Yeah, that's beauty. All right. So a all universal right. sty across that's the yeah, board. Sty yep. for sure. All right. Next up. Going to the bathroom right before the server comes with the bill. <laughs> and you're in a group. No, no sty. No sty. <laughs> <laughs> no style. You gotta be the no you gotta style. be the beauty that's picking it no, up. No, but then voice. okay. So here's the one thing. bill. No hard that it. One bill. Oh, you got that. You got that chip. Yeah, yeah. Boys, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no. So you you go to the bathroom. The bill comes. Then you pull the. Oh, I I was just gonna grab my wallet yeah. <laughs> right after they pay. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Well, no, that's exactly what happens you're, if you're late. Because I've been late before, not on purpose. Right, I'm just like I'm in a conversation. Mm-hmm. The thing comes, I don't even notice, and then I'm like, "Are we gonna like?" I didn't even notice the, the waitress came. I'm like, "Are we gonna pay?" Like, we're, and oh no, so and so's already got. It. Oh, what? No, no, like, let me, no. And then like, no, no, you keep it. I'm trying to like, take cash out of my wallet and hand it. Look, I've got it right here. That's, yeah, that's hilarious. You secretly want him to be like, "No, nah, nah. no." I seem yeah. to always be paying. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's because you're the. I, I remember. Don't don't worry, guys. I got it. He's trying to pay with his health card. I'm like. <laughs> So it's, it's okay, Chip. That's a blockbuster. Uh, oh, I remember there, you uh, paid at chippy. the. I, I cover boys. I I didn't even. I don't drink. The boys had a couple pints. I yeah. ended up covering the whole bucket yesterday. No, like, you didn't. Yeah. What? Well, because I was like, "What's left?" And I was like, "All oh, the bucket, the two sandwiches, and the." Dude, which I, was, I, I don't care. I'll grab a bucket. I was standing yeah. right there with my wallet trying to pay. I thought you were paying for your sandwich. You well, I, thought, food. I thought the buckets were already paid for. I thought someone paid for the buckets. Yeah. Well, I didn't even have a buy. I didn't have, I didn't have a pint. Which no. I don't care. Like Tay, like Tay covered my meal the other like last yeah. time. So I was like, oh yeah, Tay, I'll grab your sandwich. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, the buckets still left. And like everyone was kind of ready to go. So I'm like, well, I yeah, I'll cover the bucket, the thirty dollar <laughs> uh, bucket. Or whatever. I wish you, you told you, me. I here's that. here's no, Chippy. No, I, this is a reenactment. Chippy paying for. Paying for the bucket, he's like, yeah, I guess I'll pay for the bucket. All I have is a water, but oh, it was cash, <laughs> cash only. Oh, cash only. So I was like, I only had, I only had certain. <laughs> Where was guys. this? Oh yeah, they're sending people to the ATM. The the Wait, pool place. Was yeah, it billiards? Or? Billiards. Well, they, no, oh, their beauties. No. They, like their beauties, they stay open. They, they know what they're doing. Yeah, they know what they're doing. doing. And then Beauty. everyone's like dropping like ten dollar tip. I was like, well, because it's cash yeah, only. Now I gotta drop a ten dollar tip too. Like they they strategically make the ATM only have twenties. <laughs> you're, you're only paying cash. What's so cash and tip? And it's like. Yeah. All that's going pocket. Tough. All that's going to the pockets. Yeah, baby. for sure. Yeah. All right, next up, sty, no sty, or puck daddy. Parking far away in the parking lot instead of trying to get that close spot. Like, you know, some people, they'll they'll hunt and they'll look for I the close spot. The day. Some is... people, like myself, will just park. I don't care how far it is, and I'll walk the rest. No sty. No sty? Yeah. I think I, it's sty. I, I, I usually like just park in the free zone but like i'm also like if it's tight like nice and close like i'm there too yeah so like i'm like undecided mm. here's 
Let me it's tell a, you. It's a pull through. I'm always a pull through guy. Oh, the pull through is sty. Sure. I'm going to walk you through it. Okay. So you understand the sty in this. You get into it, you're pulling up. Parking lot is packed. Everyone's searching for a spot. And you see this one way far away, right? And you're just like, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. You pull right down the center lane where you know it's like there's not a single chance. And you're creeping up, you're creeping up. And as you're like almost. Like, oh, I'm, I'm never going to find a spot. There's one right near the front. And you're like, no friggin' way. And you pull in there. You get that rock star parking. You <laughs> yes. step out of your vehicle like you yeah. just won an award. I agree. Right? Like, I agree. I agree. And that's a sty moment where you're like, there is, you just won the lottery. Mm. Honestly. Yeah, you just... Everyone wanted that spot, and now it's yours. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's... so... It's a sty. It's you sty. explaining that as a lottery is exactly what it is. <laughs> it is. Because I'm going to paint a picture of what's more likely to happen. you got to bet on yourself. You are you pull up to the parking lot. It's a busy day. Mm-hmm. You're at Walmart, let's say. Yep. You pull down the center lane, the, the aisle that's right in front of the door, you know? Mm-hmm. You're, you're, challenge, you're, you're hoping for a luck, lucky streak here. You pull in. People start walking in front of you. You have to stop. You make the turn. You go down the lane. Oh, there's some grandma backing out of a spot, but someone was already waiting to go in there, so you can't be that guy and steal that one. So then you end up sitting there waiting another minute just to get by him to keep looking. Meanwhile, someone else came and took the next available spot, mm-hmm. and you end up parking away yeah, far away anyway. It, so you're forcing it. I let the I let the spot open up to me. Yeah. Uh, See, I just let it open up to me. It seems like I never mm. have this problem because I just I don't no. I just like walk in, let it open up. Oh, there it is. Boom, boom. I'm a spot. I, and I reverse in. I'm I've a reverse feeling. Oh, I love reversing. I've in, got a yeah. reverse feeling. Guy. Yeah. Go right in reverse, yeah. put it right in. <laughs> so for me, I just prefer take the first spot I see and walk the rest if I have now, to. I will say there are people who do not want their car damaged, so they park further away. That's another thing, too. That's fine. That's no sty. <laughs> that's that's fine. Relax. I think it's sty, and this is one of the first the ones we've disagreed it's meant to be on. Used. It's meant to and then be the used. further away, the further, like, now there's no cameras, and, you're, and now it's like you can get your car broken into because it's mm. so far away. Yeah, you think? It's like your car's more likely to get... <laughs> you're broken into when you're deep and away from everything. But you're also most visible to actual human eyes because yeah. you're not hidden by other vehicles. Ooh, that's a good... You park like the furthest point. away, back corner <laughs> of the lot, you go into the mall, you come out, it's pouring rain. Absolutely torrential downpour. Have a nice walk to your car. Yeah, I agree. It's just a little rain, I don't mind. Yeah, rain's not horrible, but I, I, I do like... Being <laughs> up, your, your, your clothes are sopping wet for the one-hour drive home. Hey, it's nice to feel one with no, the environment. You know, you know what's die? When dad pulls up to the front. Mm. Mm. Oh, drops you off? It, it pulls, drops you off, but then also goes to the car, grabs the car, pulls up. I do that when it's raining or snowing. Oh, yeah. That's right, I got it. I oh, sprint out, daddy. I hop in, I pull around. That's a puck up. daddy. That's yeah. legit that's a puck, puck daddy. daddy. For yeah. sure. Literally yeah. a puck, puck daddy. daddy. That's move. definitely puck daddy. You wait here, I'll go grab it. Especially yeah. if you park far away like I do. Oh, there's sometimes. a skit. Can we film that? <laughs> like, like you, Yeah, it's like, like two types of hockey dads. You wait here, I'll go grab it. No, Paul, let me get your bag too. I'll carry your bag. Yeah. Like puck dad, like two types of dads. Hey, here's here's a quarter. Like, Why don't you go get like, the candy when, when machine while you says, wait? When, like when your dad says, "You wait here, I grab it," and then and it goes like, like that little sad like that yeah. slow mo music, yeah. like just like the kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How about this one? Mason was in the hockey rink. He said he had to go to the bathroom. Right. I I walked out to the car. I was like, oh, I'm I'm just gonna while he's gone, I'm just gonna load the stuff into the vehicle. Right. So I go out to the car, load the bag, sticks, all that stuff. I might as well pull around to the front of the rink. Yeah. Right? And then just pick him up. Like, he'll be out in a second. So I start the car, and and there was a bunch of cars in the way. So I had to go the long way around the parking lot and then come back yeah. down the side of the hockey rink and then park in front. So it was a bit of a, a long-distance scenic route that I took. Mm-hmm. And then I pull right in front, and I'm like, where is this kid? And then he runs from behind the vehicle, panting. He's like, he was chasing you? <laughs> He's like, Dad. He's like, I was, I was trying to get in the car the whole time. <laughs> he thought I'm leaving without him because oh I went my, towards the exit. Oh right? my god! So he sees me putting the stuff in, start the car pulling away. He's like, Oh no! He's got that feeling. He starts running. That's class. I didn't see it. And everyone thinks you're teaching him a lesson yeah, or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, he, he, like you be late one more time. <laughs> yeah. He, he only got three goals, not four. So now he's gonna walk home. Yeah. So he chased me around the entire parking lot in a, in a big circle. He's basically giving you the Spider-Man tapping on the door. Dad, there, open eh? the door. 
Open the door. <laughs> we got our Minute Madness inspiration. There you go. There we got go. Minute Madness there inspiration go. now. I told you. It's Love gonna, it. It's going to come right to us, like, so easily. All right. Next up, sty or no sty, also kind of car related. You know the double lane drive throughs When mm-hmm. you're racing people in the double lane drive through you know oh, how, like, it. you try to you try to oh, order yeah. faster than them to get oh, every the Oh, every time. My it. time is valuable, yes, and I want to get my sandwich and bagel with cream cheese and get out of here. It's, everything's a competition. It's style. You yeah, got to compete. Like, you got to compete. Okay, <laughs> I disagree again. Oh, what? No. Because way. those. Don't tell me you're the guy that's, like, going to let two cars go ahead of them. Because that. you know what? No, I'm not that Think guy. Think about the person behind you. Because now, <laughs> no, I see you're not thinking about the person behind you. That's selfish. Okay, l- hear it's me selfish out. selfish not competing in that line. Because now you're taking longer. The people behind you are like, what is this guy letting him in for? Listen, hear, it's a hear me out. First. Hear me out. Okay. You're in the double lane drive through yep. You all still have to go through the single lane. And the bottleneck is making the food, not ordering. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you might be physically ahead of them, but the amount of time it's going to take to make your specific food is exactly the same. No, but it's like ordering first. Like, you want to order your I'm, first. I'm thinking about when I'm approaching. Yeah, I can see that. When I'm approaching, I see four cars in this lane and only one in that one. Whoop, I'm getting into that lane. Oh, yeah. Right. Before. I'm and there, there's for this guy to come over. There's two other you cars. Your lane already, Paul. There's two other cars just coming up. I'm like, oh, shoot, they're going for that short lane. I got to z- zip in front. To get in the one car lane, I guess my thinking is that it's like it's a lot of it's a lot of uh, stress and effort for maybe thirty seconds of your time. Yeah, but it just <laughs> every I need those small <laughs> wins. I need yeah. all those small wins. In That's my like life. Jeremy racing on the highway to save knock a minute off of his half hour drive. <laughs> I, it works. I, I did yeah. that the other day on the way to the game yesterday. <laughs> it's just fun. It's yeah. just, instead, instead of instead of fourteen minutes to get ready, I had twenty one. Yeah, not, maybe not twenty. That's a lot. I, I think I made up like four minutes. That's yeah, not which bad. Is for still it. a lot. It, yeah, it is nice. Yeah, it said my ETA was eight forty six, and I got there at like eight thirty five or something like that. Mm. Shave some minutes off. That's also the because it's based off of going the speed limit. Your estimate. The game did start at eight thirty, didn't it? Yeah. Like if you just drove like normal fast and not yeah. like extra fast, you're only really like the, okay. the more the faster you're going, the the more that the speed difference doesn't make a difference because. Mm. Like if say Google estimates it's going to take you half an hour, yep. that's based on the speed limit. If you go on an average of like ten kilometers an hour over the speed limit, way more than that. Whatever. Okay. An average I know. Of- you know what? I try not to like community zones. I'm going the speed limit through town. I'm going the speed. I'm always going fifties in the fifties yeah. or like fifty five, sixty. Here, I've, you know, drive, I've yeah. driven with you. No, no, no. Dude, I <laughs> don't. I don't speed through slow. <laughs> Chippy's Stop. calling him out. I don't. I don't. I don't no. <laughs> Stop that. If it's a fifty, I've seen you. I've break. seen Chippy go a hundred. I've seen Jer <laughs> open seen... it up, buddy. Jer's yeah, on a hundred in a fifty not, in no. the, on the way side to runs. Hockey, There's no. There's no <laughs> speed limit on the way to hockey. <laughs> there's 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 a skit. What, Paul? You saw his Dad, place? you're going 170. What, pal? <laughs> What'd you say, pal? <laughs> dad, you're going like 170. Here, have right a now. jawbreaker. <laughs> yeah, pal, just okay. Just, just let dad drive. <laughs> if you talk to Sammy, she would tell you different because she hates how slow I go through this neighborhood. And I'm like, Sammy, I'm going. I know. I saw Sammy on the way in. She was like screaming at me. She's like, go. She didn't know it was me. I was turning. <laughs> I was turning right onto the. Oh my god. Um, I was turning right onto the from the, the highway there. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, I, I saw the palisade. I'm like, oh, it's either Jerry or Sammy. Yeah. And then I see Sammy. She didn't know it was me. <laughs> I slowed down. And I got like, my head out the window. And she's like, and she finally clued in that it was me. Oh, but she was pissed. That's hilarious. She, she will get, she will go from zero to 100 on the, the anger scale in a second on the road. She's a yeah. road rager. She's a road rager. Yeah. For, for me, it's, uh, it depends on my mood. Like, I enjoy driving fast. Like, I have my Audi now. So I like driving like quick on the gear shifts and tight turns yes, and all this stuff. That's what I'm saying. I enjoy driving quickly, but when it comes to like racing up behind people and passing and all that yeah. stuff, I don't really care that uh, much. It's not safe. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, next up on the list, sty or no sty? Skates before pants. Putting your skates on before the pants. It's just uh, weird. No sty. It's no sty. It's just it's I don't think I need to explain myself. I think yeah. so too. I think it's no style. It's zero. Yeah. I, I don't really care. I've never if done you it. Do it like it's whatever, but it's just it's. I kind of do. Care I think it's kind it. of off putting if you walk into a room and a guy's putting his skates on. He doesn't have pants like his hockey pants on. It I looks kind of weird. Don't understand, especially if he's got like those old school the old school jock where he's still got a bit of leg exposed. Uh-huh. You know, like he doesn't have the socks it. all the way up. I've never done it. I never. You want to try it? You want to try it next game? No. <laughs> 
No, because now I'm gonna like rip my pants. Minor idea. Yeah, then you gotta undo the Velcro and the zipper on the inner seat, and then those are the guys that always have the ripped pants too, because the one time they mess up and the yeah. skate hits it, That's it's no style. It makes no it. sense, does it? Yeah. I don't like it. it what, what is the point of doing? How is that any way better than? Put it's your like, pants on it's first. like putting your yeah. socks on before you're putting your pants on. I think some people, it makes it easier for yeah. them to reach their Don't skates. Don't tell me you guys put your socks on before your pants on. Before your underwear? Oh, like just in day to day? Yeah, like it's like putting, I guess that's putting your socks on before your underwear. I put, I go it's under, like, I go underwear, socks, pants. Underwear, socks, pants, yeah. 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 Especially if I have long socks on. Like if I have long I like socks I on, I don't Actually, want Actually, long, long socks kind of does make sense. I feel yeah. like I go... Underwear, pants, socks. I, I would say it'd be more like if you put on your shoes and then put on your pants. If you're wearing short socks, you can put them on whenever. But if you have long ones, it's tough to pull them up if you have pants on. Yeah. You, you want know? them to go under like that? Yeah. I mean, you just... See, it's a strategy. It depends on what you're wearing. Mm-hmm. It does. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, next one. Next it's up. Interesting, though, because I feel like that could be a pull. Mm. I feel like you guys might not be as right as you think We're not you putting are. our pants on properly? I feel like you guys it's probably might not close be as right to, as you think you are. It's probably close to 50-50, honestly, if you mm-hmm. compare, like... There's a lot of people in the world. I'm not even really. Yeah, I don't think I put my socks okay. on. Let's, let's and a lot of people. A lot of people don't wear long socks. So it no, doesn't weird matter. that looks. Socks and underwear, especially like girls, they don't wear the long socks. They wear like the it's, ankle it, socks it, all the time. You know. Anyway, it's underwear, pants, socks for sure. <laughs> I'm just like underwear, pants, socks. Hundred percent. All right. Okay. Well, let's do the poll. Is it underwear, and then pants, socks, or underwear, socks, pants, or socks, or... underwear, pants? Or that's crazy. That's what <laughs> I'm on, saying. Man. That's what the or sk- socks, pants, that's what underwear. The skates on before the pants. It is like putting your socks on before your underwear. It, like it, that's so- okay. a let, socks, pants, underwear. Let me finish the question in case. <laughs> let me finish the question in case we clip it. Okay. So is it underwear, pants, and then socks? Underwear, socks, and pants, or you just don't care? Hmm. There might be people who just have absolutely no preference, and they don't even know. They probably are, now they're going to well, be bothered because they're going to yes. think about it. It is subconscious. Yeah. Like I don't even like, but I'm pretty sure my subconscious is like the way I said it. Mm. Sometimes I go one sock, then the underwear, then the pants, and then the other. So sock. when you have That's when you have socks like this on, you put your your pants on, then you have to pull your pants up, to put your socks on, then tuck your pants back down. Yeah, it's exactly what I did. Seems like a lot of effort. <laughs> hey, now you're going to be thinking about it. You're going to be like, well, "Am I doing this in the most optimal way?" Do we have more styrodos? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm. Uh, I'm optimal is just. All right, this one's from Malachi. Let's get to the draft. <laughs> no, we're not doing the Malachi, draft. Malachi, we got one from Malachi. Yeah, longtime fan of the pod, Puck Daddy. He says the shorts and the hoodie combo. Oh, shorts hoodie combo. Is that style or no style? It, yeah. it is appropriate in, in certain situations. It's extremely And I think it's a it's a huge high school statement. It's Especially with the slides. Like it's Puck Daddy style. Yeah. He's going, to, he's going all the way to Puck hoodie, Daddy. I'm going all the way to Puck Daddy with that. I'm wow. I'm a hoodie guy. Hoodie short with like slides and socks is so style. It does play a lot. It does oh, play it's a lot. Yeah. For me, That's if like you're if you're thing. under 25, it's style. <laughs> You know what? If you're over 25, I'm like, like nah. Like I'm just seeing Neil Andrew Rock and like his Leafs hoodie, yep. shorts and long socks yeah. and, and sandals. Like that's, that's just... what I'm saying. It's a hockey player move because you're in the hockey rink. You're doing your warm ups. Okay, whatever. yeah. At right? the hockey rink, it's sty across the board. But like just in general, if you're not, if you're old, if you're older than 25 still. and you're rocking that, I think it's no sty. There, I'm there, still sty on that. There's yeah. some times, especially summer hockey. Right, I've mm. got the shorts on. I'm enjoying the weather. I've got a an eight thirty game. Sun goes down, little cool, right? Yeah, even in the morning, it's cool. I'm not gonna go change into pants. I'm keeping the shorts. I'm heading to the rink. I'm just gonna toss a hoodie on. Let's go, right? And we're yeah, hanging. I'm, in the I'm a big hoodie guy. Yeah. All yeah. Year I'm gonna say sty. I won't go all the way to puck daddy, but I'll sty it. I'll give me sty. I think it's in the rink. It's puck daddy. Yeah, mm-hmm. for that's sure. all nasty looks. Love it. it looks- Thanks for that one, Malachi. Thanks for a suggestion. Yeah. If any of you other puck daddies have a suggestion for sty or no sty, hit up the comment section below. Milk before cereal. That's wait, wait. You put the milk in the bowl no first, style. and then you put the cereal. No, in the no, no, you don't want to splash. Don't splash. You risk... absolutely not. You have a huge <laughs> splash. Like, absolutely not. No. So I, I had a friend that did this, and I thought he was a psychopath. <laughs> yeah, because it, it makes no sense. I think they do it almost just to say they do it. Yeah. Right. But they know they don't even really want to do it. You like that's the right. level of s- insanity. Also, it's... like if you make a soup. Do you put the broth in after everything else or first? It's called cereal, not soup. <laughs> it's just you put Here, it into the bowl. And here's the thing. Milk in, bro. You, it's very crucial. You put in the amount of cereal you want 
mm. and then you add the milk up to the amount that you want based on the how cereal. How floats right? up. You, exactly. You don't know. You put the milk in, you don't know how much cereal you're going to have to put into that bowl to get you to the level you want. So cereal goes first, and then you, you it's like a fine tuning. And then there's no cereal at the, the bottom milk. because the milk's too dense for the cereal to sink. Okay, but if you have like mini wheats or something, just to counterpoint to that. Yeah. You can the, you can put the milk the in. You can just are floating on top. You can grab you can grab one at a time of cereal until it has the perfect amount. Same thing. But then they're all floating. No. They're all floating. No, I'm still saying no sty. Yeah, no well, sty for that. It's just wrong. That was a layup. Not allowed. If you guys, I was just seeing if you guys said it was sty because that'd be funny. All right, no. this one's back on hockey. Toe to heel tape job. <sighs> no, and you're not doing. And like for me, I'm saying this is no sty. But in the odd chance that you're only doing like the the toe of the blade, like you're only doing like maybe three or four inches, ah, still, then it's kind of like it doesn't still, matter. You still start at the heel side. I still would, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't judge toe. you as hard though. So I'd, it's not sty, but it's not no sty if it's just the end. But in general, definitely no sty going toe to heel. I I did that. a YouTube video on how to tape your stick. Yeah, and for whatever reason, at that time in my life, I've always been a heel to toe type of guy. Yeah. I forget where I saw it, but I saw something about like taping heel to toe or toe to heel. Yeah. And there's a difference on how the ribs interact, right? Like where the ribs, o- yeah. yeah, the overlap, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. If you go heel to toe, the overlap is in a way where it's more likely for the tape to come off because how the, the puck moves along your blade. Mm-hmm. Your toe to heel, it overlaps differently. So apparently the tape can last longer. Right. So yeah. for whatever reason, in the video, I taped it toe to heel. And just said, like, oh, there's, like, a little bit of difference in how the tape overlaps. But now that YouTube video has, like, a million views, everyone thinks I'm a toe-to-heel type of guy. But right after I did the video, like, I tried it a few more times, like, heel-to-toe is a way to go. And so so in this brief moment of my life for, like, a few weeks where I was going toe-to-heel, I made the YouTube video. And everyone thinks, everyone thinks I'm a toe-to-heel guy. No. But That's hilarious. I, I don't know if I'm liking what Betsy's doing with his tape job. Mm. Going up the shaft. I remember back the sock, in the day. The sock. The sock. The tube yeah. sock. I've never like that was the most. Annoying. I have that on here. That's the tube, the, most... the tube sock tape job, sty or I've, no sty. It's to me, I've it's no sty, and it. It's back in the day, like if you did that, you like you were know the what biggest doing. duster in the league. Your dad did it for you. <laughs> Your dad go, goes up like my buddy's dad used to tape his stick. That's so true, and would go up the shaft yeah. a little bit with it. Like that is so dust, <laughs> and like Betsy's making it popular, but I don't know what he's doing with that. Yeah, like you just like a little bit off the heel, uh, up the shaft is just no. The style. more that I, the more that I I've can't played hockey, the I more that I've taken away from my tape job. I used to do when I was younger. I'd do the strip along the bottom all the way around the toe. Yeah, and then tape it because I wanted to protect my stick. Right, I wanted to get as much life out of out of it as I could. Then after I got a bit older, it was just the bottom strip. I didn't go around the toe because it was too annoying yeah, to fold it, it right. Got all it got all folded and weird. Yeah. And I learned how to do the snip like with the scissors on the end so I didn't need to do that anymore. Yeah, you went all the way over then, the then I got rid of the bottom strip because I'm like, hell with that. My stick breaks not because it's wearing out like that. It just breaks from someone slashing me anyway. And then I would just do from heel to toe with the tape. Then I started doing heel to toe without doing the scissors on the end because I was like, I don't have time for this. Now I do just half, half the blade. Sometimes I do the scissors if I have time. Other times I don't. It's just like half. The t- How do you do the toe without cutting? You just fold it over and have it clunky there. No, no. You just cut it off before it reaches the very end of the toe. So you do use scissors. No, no, no. Like you just rip it. Like yeah, you don't. You the, don't go over the. Toe. You don't go over the toe sometimes. Like if oh, I okay. if I have time, then I'll do the fold over and, and cut with scissors. Yeah, but okay. if I'm in a rush, I just my tape it my tape job hasn't changed. No, I go heel to toe over the toe, cut the toe, mm-hmm. and it's the only way you should tape your stick. Mm-hmm. It is the nicest looking. It is the most it's clean. Just, that's how you tape a stick. For me, I just like it uses less tape, takes less time, and I never, I don't need anything on the heel of my stick really. You like, don't need it going up the shaft. What is it? What are you doing? I with wish the that we asked shaft that I, you needs tape up there. I yeah. wish that we asked him when he was on the. Pod. I know. Why I just, do you tape your? I talked about the. T- I, I we talked about the the tongue thing though. Mm. Yeah. Over the, the back, hand. I said no. Yeah. That's no style. We talked. We asked him that. Yeah. yeah. I said that's. He said Matthews, and I'm like, I, yeah. I don't like that Matthews does it either. <laughs> that's like, I don't yeah. like that over the back Euro tuck. Yeah. Mm. Is the most dusting ever. I cannot stand it. Right. My, my tape it's job. Dust, man. My tape job. My tape job's it's simple. Dust, I just dude. leave. I just tape the middle. Like I start at the heel, like uh, about an inch or two off. Mm-hmm. Quick tape job. 
end before I get to the toe, mm-hmm. just because it's the fastest to tape your stick. Dude, over yeah. the back of the tongue with your sock is the most dust thing <laughs> ever. I don't know why anyone thinks that's die. You know what's funny <laughs> is like, that- and I and I'm here. I'll take that to the grave. That is never gonna be sty. I don't care if Matthews and Bedsy does it. <laughs> you, like, you know like I'm gonna be old and retired and be like. Ah, you no cannot sty. put it's no sty, man. You're over the back of the tongue, like what are we saying, bro? It, it's funny. I played hockey my entire life, minus a few seasons where like just couldn't. Um, and no one ever talked about how people wore their equipment. No one ever discussed it. It wasn't ever brought up. No it's one irrelevant. It yeah. It, it just always was. I never even knew it was a thing until I made a YouTube video. And I had the J clips. I took my cage off. Oh, right? and you had the, my, the, J, like, the, the wings sticking yeah. out. Because yeah. I'm like, well, I can't do the YouTube video with the cage on. Like, they should see my face yeah, and me yeah, talking, yeah. right? Yeah. So I just took the screws, took the cage off, and I still had the clips coming out the side. And they were bigger back then, too. Oh, they were, yeah. They stuck and, out more. And someone in the comments section was like, dude, you got take those J clips off. You have no sty. I'm like, what is sty? <laughs> right? <laughs> and that's the first time where I was aware, probably when I was like 20 years old or 21, that like people cared yeah. about how Welcome you to looked. the internet. Like, right? <laughs> I feel like that's, and, that's oh. a big part of being like AAA. I think, yeah, it's it's more it's important like, there. It's like AAA is all like kind of all about style. It's all about the mojo. Yeah. Like you yeah. got to like. You're more obsessed with hockey. Though. Well, you're like, I don't know. Like you just, you're like, you're obsessed with like looking good because you are good. Yeah. That you also want to look good too. want to look the part. Yeah. Like. Got to look good to play good. It's Gotta it. Play good to look good. So too, like though. we were all about the style. We, we were all about the lace hanging down. I know. The yeah. Lace, yeah. The, the 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 bucket hang. Yeah. Yeah. Everything well, like your tape job, like everything ne- had to be dialed at AAA. The next YouTube comment that I thought was funny was I got chirped for having the ear guard still in the helmet. I I don't know why we're taking those off. Are you trying to, to get lose an injury? An ear like. Tra- sorry, I like my ears, man. <laughs> People are chirping me. Take the ear guards off, you nerd. I'm like, no. Yeah, I'm keeping my no. ear guards it only, on, The man. ear guards only look funny if you don't rock a cage or a visor. I guess. Well, no, I was looking at the NHL. No one wears ear guards. No one has them. On the, uh, probably yeah. so that's no why. sense to me. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. So you can take one off the ear yeah. and lose an ear like you're... Who's that guy that lost his ear? The painter, dude. Or the, <laughs> Van Gogh? Van Gogh. Wasn't that... He lost his so. ear. You ripped like it off or cut it off or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, do you want that to happen to you? I'm not trying to be Van Gogh out on the ice. <laughs> I mean, I want to be an artist, but I want, right. to, I want to have both ears. Let's rattle through the rest of these. Yeah. That was funny joke. That, yeah, I'm giving it to you. Do we need Jer- you Jer's just, on the board? Moving on from that, it's hilarious. We need, we need the applause. It's the white one. <laughs> That's way too loud. <laughs> it was that funny though? Turn it down. Oh my god! So loud. Oh, you got the wrong one there. This one? It's on the right. Oh, that was the right one. one? Did you turn? Did you don't? Did you turn no, my phone? Don't down? just don't touch it. Just don't touch it. All right, next one. You roll up to the rink, you go out onto the ice, no backup twig, sty or no sty. There's pitchers on the board. I didn't know that. What? Sorry, go ahead. You roll up to the rink. Yep. No backup twig. A sty. I've been doing that. A <laughs> sty. I have one stick right now. Yeah, I think it's sty too because. I literally have one stick. It, it, it's a huge risk. If you break your stick, then it's no sty. I'm just going to borrow someone else's stick. It, right? It's but, like you look at that guy, you're like, that guy doesn't give a. Exactly. You no? Know? That's it. Yeah, I got one stick pulling up. Yep. Yeah, you know, and it's an intermediate, and it's way too flexible. You know, he's uh, not he's not going to grind in the corners. He's not going to hack or slash. He's not going to take some you know hits in front of the net. He's not slashing that's, you in the back of the head. He's going to float around. He's going to float around. You he's think I'm a floater? Pick up. You think I'm a floater? I was the only one, <laughs> only one not floating the other day. You show up with only one stick. Oh, okay, I'm all still, right. I'm still throwing cross checks. That's true. Next up, pre-workout or an energy drink before the game. No, I've no been sty. I've been taking a little bit of pre workout. I don't do caffeine usually. Mm-hmm. I've been kind of getting back on it to get me up for like the gym. The pre workout doesn't have as much caffeine as an I do, energy drink. I'll so. do a little pre workout. Mm-hmm. I took like I mix it into a drink. Like I used to do dry scoop pre workout. Oh, I and I was that. on this stuff called Batch Twenty Seven. Mm-hmm. It's like it was like three and a half cups of coffee. Oh my! Oh jeez! It was so it, it made my head scratch off. And I got I was on it for like. I was like like six months. I was like in the gym, like trying to get the biggest bench press I possibly could, mm-hmm. and it was. I realized like that the caffeine just like made me anxious. Well, yeah, the the pre workout is only it's good for some people, and it's a good to like kind of give you the boost when you need it. But like if you get low desensitized, amounts, to yeah, it, yeah, I, then I, I, it doesn't yeah. help you. It just gives you like jitters and makes you so have to I piss a lot. So I completely got <laughs> off coffee. I got off all caffeine. Mm. I'm and, saying, yeah. Anything that you need to perform is no sty, 
Because it's definitely sty if you can just do it all yourself. Yeah, if right. You don't I've need seen, anything. Like Mitchie you know? doing a little Red Bull before the game oh, yeah. or something like mm-hmm. that, yeah. or like. Yeah, I think like, I think you... it's 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 not it's not sty, but it's not no sty in particular. It just depends on your you as an individual if that's what you need, and also if it's healthy for you. Like if it's if you're taking like ungodly amounts of of caffeine before yeah, a hockey no, game, that's probably like, not good my for buddy, you. My buddy, my buddy, slope man. Yeah, my buddy was those like caffeine pills and like. Yep. Mm-hmm. This is actually a story. Like he took too many, and then he was on the bench, and his heart was just pounding. Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. No. Like, like you need you slip, stay away slow. from the caffeine. Right. Everyone yeah. in everything in moderation. It's like starts. I'll t- I'll have some pre workout before hockey, but it's only one scoop at most. Yeah. You know. Like, yeah. Exactly. And, like and, I, and not every game. Only on the nights where it's like, like where you're like it's I like literally a woke up. Like, yeah. Like ten thirty. Like also, I mean, like if it's a ten thirty game, and I'm a little bit, I took a little bit of pre workout. Yeah. And I was like, just to get me a little spark. Like exactly. Just, but like for the most part, I'm like no caffeine. Yeah. Except for when I need it all right next up staying in the crease to fist bump after scoring a goal <laughs> like in front of the other goalie yeah like you don't you, like you score you stand up you wait for the fist bump you don't you're not moving out of the crease to let the yeah, goalie move out lose and i see guys do this please. in the nhl all the time and it makes me cringe honestly like i'm like i never stay in the crease after scoring a goal i feel like that's so to disrespectful catch, you're about to catch a two-hand to the back of the knee yeah, yeah. i'd say i'd like say for goalie. men's league it's no sty for men's league, it's no sty, no sty, yeah. no sty. No but like they do it in the NHL so often, no sty. Like I've seen, like Zach Hyman, the amount of it's times kind of, it's kind of funny. Zach Hyman, the amount of goals he's scored where he's celebrating in the crease because that's where he scores the goal. He scores, he stands up, and he's like, "Yep, thank you, thank you." I mean, and then they skate to the bench. It's kind of funny at a professional level because you're trying to get on the other guy's skin, right? right? There's like a whole and you know they can't do anything. There's a co- right, it's, it's kind of sty. That's what I'm saying. For a, there's a psychology level to it. Yeah, you're getting on their skin. You're making the other team angry. Yeah, I'm gonna say this: if so, you score a goal, it's die. So it has to be die. Right. But right. in a men's league, it's like uh, you're just there to have fun. So yeah. Well, apparently not. <laughs> apparently on Sunday we weren't there to have fun. We were there to <laughs> be absolute enemies with these guys. So I I think it's no sty across the board because I just I think it's like I, say- I I think there's a certain level of respect you have to have for the other team's goalie, mm-hmm. and for me. Scoring that goal and just sell it, like staying right there instead of just moving to the side. I want to say it's relatively no sty. sty. It's relatively sty. relatively sty. Okay, yeah. I like it. All right, uh, stretching right at the red line during warmies. Sty. Let them know what you're. What, I don't even claim sh- your territory. Let them know what they have to deal I'm with. I'm not a stretcher during warmies. I don't. I, I do like a couple. Around. I do dynamic stretches while I'm skating. Go center ice Honestly, and just, I like stretch just being, those I like hammies being out. Stiff going into the game. <laughs> I like just being completely like. You want to loosen up no, as you play. Like, no yeah. warm up and no, exactly. no, barely do anything. Like the first period is no your stretch, stretching. Right yeah. after the first, I show period. up ten minutes before the game, throw my gear on in a rush. Yep. And like sometimes I don't even get a warm up, and I'm oh. like, let's go right into the game. <laughs> I'm cold. The warm up. I is, like going in cold. You're also one of the younger guys on the yeah. Team. The, the warm up is running from your vehicle to the arena. <laughs> yeah. To get in there because you're like, oh yeah. shoot, the Zamboni's probably on already. The warm up is warm-up. electric heating in the dressing room. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's exactly it. My warm up's <laughs> like sweating to do my skates up. <laughs> yeah. All like, right. Because I'm gassed. I got three more here. Let's run through them quick. Wow, you came. Unintentionally there. scoring on a backdoor pass. Obviously. Uh, wait, wait, wait. On, like it bounces that's off. Not you. That's not on your own net. Yeah, okay. Um, Let's do one more. You get one answer. You know no sty. No sty. No sty. It's no sty. If you're not, like, if you're just there and it bounces off you, it's unintentional. Like, no sty. You whiff on the, like, you whiff on the pass and then it hits your skate and goes in. You're like, oh, okay, whatever. No sty. Yeah. 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 No yeah. Sty. All right. But you're happy still. Chatting with the refs between whistles. These refs have been <laughs> getting under my skin in these men's league games. Like, I. You don't want to talk to him. Yeah, like it's kind of style, but it's also cringe. Mm. It's, okay. also it's cringe. like sucking up to the teacher. I, yeah, I don't ah. like it. I don't okay. like it. He's in a power position. You gotta like. You're trying to. Uh, simping. You're simping for the ref. I don't like it. Ba- don't Barry like League. It. I never talked to him, but it really. Uh, That's because I just see them more. Depends often. on the ref. I think. Yeah, depends on the ref. The ref. Yeah. yeah, like I have a ref, like a couple of the refs that I'm like genuinely. No, because you're talking to me, then you make a dog crap non-call then i'm pissed at you again and now it's like you, you're trying to be buddies with me yeah and now i can't give it to you because you just made a terrible call because now we're buddies yeah so now no it's it's like i want to be able to like say i should have been a call man mm. you tell me you're not invited to the barbecue no, but I technically <laughs> if, if, if you're buddies you can have a, have the conversation like for me i i even if i don't know the ref I, i'll crack like a joke between or whatever but i want to know if that's dire honestly the barry I think it's the barry league refs 
You're a good guy. You're a good guy if you're, you're chatting with the other team and the, and the mm. refs and stuff. You know? I'm there to have fun, so I like yeah. to make sure the refs have fun too. Yeah. And sometimes, yeah, but when you're they ca- make it when you're impossible. taking when you're taking cross checks and they're not <laughs> yeah. calling it, yeah, it's tough. Um, you're making my life mm-hmm. difficult. So, yeah, I like if I get cross checked and there's uh, no call, then I'm I'll getting, just I'm sort, getting bizarre, I'll sort that I get myself. bizarre treatment out there. I'm getting body checked. I'm getting slammed. I'm getting guys cross checking me. <laughs> Could be because you and insulted then, every guy on the team and six and times. And then the stripes, he, the stripey doesn't. Make a call. It's like the stripes never make a call. In stripe, and, then, and then you and then you start giving it to them, and then you know you're not getting a call. So now I'm just giving it to them. <laughs> it's like, bro, yeah. like. So you're you're leaning more towards no sty. I'm leaning more towards way more towards no sty. All right, yeah. all right, all right. That's fair. Last one. Doing a pregame warm up before men's league, like you're going around doing no your stretches. Sty. No sty. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it is no sty, but it's sh- like you you. You should probably do it. After like <laughs> probably should. Once yeah. once you're like thirty like if, years if, old. If you're showing up that early should. to the game, it's like Yeah, exactly. It's, who has time? What for do you it? who's got time to show up thirty exactly. minutes before yeah. men's you just, what do you what do you get get home off work early, make dinner, yeah. make sure you could put the kids to bed just so you can get the men's league early and yeah. stretch. Before. Like I, I looked over I was driving to the game, I look over, it's Tay's hanging his head like uh, out the window. I thought it was like some random person. <laughs> and that's like literally twenty minutes before the game. Before, before we're supposed to be on the ice, we still have like a 15 minute drive like if you're not showing up like 10 minutes before the game yeah yeah like what are you doing <laughs> yeah it's, it's right. great for your body if you do it but it's not oh it's amazing for you yeah. yeah it's one of those things it's unfortunate that it's no style like minor hockey but like we're thinking we're, we're coming from the men's league perspective That's yeah thing. exactly minor hockey minor is hockey part of the routine part of the yeah. routine you gotta yeah. be there an hour and before. even like if you're playing any sort of professional hockey then you it's like a necessity yeah but, yeah, yeah. Oh. All right, that was Sty No Sty or Puck Daddy. Let us know in the comments what uh, we should do next for Sty or No Sty. Uh, we got a few suggestions for this one, so that was great. Uh, moving on to Most Canadian. Most Canadian this week. Let's go. The Most Canadian Insult, Diss, or Chirp. Mm. What's a very Canadian thing to say to someone when you're not so happy with them? Hmm. You want to let someone know? Sorry, <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> Sorry, that's come my, on. Sorry, that's my fault. Uh, I think I think even when it's not your fault. Okay, sorry, so that's my fault. To follow to follow that up. To be fair, I was gonna say something kind of similar. It's the condescending apology. So it's like, oh well, I'm sorry that you have to do mm, go the condescending like, apology. Like, so yeah. like, say you're beefing with the neighbor because yeah. their gar- they put their garbage on your side of the road or like they took your bin or something, you know, like some weird petty thing. You're like, yeah. oh, I'm sorry that you missed the that garbage. You had to go out of your way Rock. this morning and walk yeah. down. You know, so it's like you're apologizing, the- but you're literally like insulting them at the same so it's, time. It's the condescending apology. Yeah. Okay. Like, cause that's the that's the meanest that I've seen like an actual canadian get you know it's right. like you're really? s- somewhat wow. kind of because i've had it used to have a neighbor that was stealing from us okay. before not not a canadian then they're just yeah not they're just petty they're, they're <laughs> just kidding <laughs> for me it's uh bud oh right bud can be a compliment but in use the wrong hey bud okay bud listen bud right you, <laughs> bud? you add really? the bud you add the bud on it yeah and the, bud. You use it the wrong buddy, way relax. If it's, it's the tone of yeah, voice buddy, body. Buddy, relax man yeah buddy buddy bud. just relax yeah like it's like a buddy buddy <laughs> all right bud yeah hey, buddy okay, bud. hey buddy right that's you get, funny okay you, bud <laughs> It yeah, can be, like, hey, oh, buddy, yeah. hey, buddy, what's up, right? Yeah, but it, okay, bud. I feel like there's a level of disrespect there, too, especially if you say it to someone that's clearly it's, older it's than you. Tone. If oh. you call someone older than you, yeah. bud, then it's like you're almost disrespecting your elders. It's it's almost like a preamble for an incoming insult, yeah. especially like, bud, right? He's like, bud, and then you drop the insult. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, he just said something, but he's like, yeah, The whatever, thing is, though, bud. it's all tone of voice because you can it's be like, tone. hey, bud. Oh, yeah. Then it's oh, then sure. all of a sudden you're just sure. friends. Like, hey, bud. For sure. You know, like sure. I call I call you guys bud sometimes. Exactly, but I, I feel... Actually, I never call Jeremy bud because he's older than me. It's just weird. Like mentally, I'm right, like... You call oh, me sir. Yeah. Hey, sir. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, No, but I, I think I've called you bud, but I never meant... Like, hey, it just bud. happens. Hey, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that does... Yeah. It's but, weird. But if it's like... It's one of those double edged like, swords. Buddy, chill out. Mm-hmm. Like imagine you're just saying that like and like trying to be like, hey, how's it going, bud? But they take it as like they're offended that you call them bud. No, you know, you know when it's, it's a coming. tone of voice. It's a tone of oh, voice. Oh, you know, yeah. You know, you if know. you if you get hit with that bud at the wrong time, yeah. wrong tone. Yeah. 
you know, someone takes your parking spot. But, but I, like I was about to park there. <laughs> I feel like mine wasn't really an insult. Yeah. Like, sorry. Yeah, no, it's not. Um, all right. Uh, Minute Madness, Chippy. Did you have an idea for Minute Madness? Yeah, I was going to do, like, got to get, get into character. Mm-hmm. We just got to get into character real quick. We got to get into character real quick. What was the, What are we doing for Minute Madness? I was going to say, like, after a game, maybe the dad, like, in the, in the, like, after a bad game. Yeah. Like, how like, you can handle however you think the hockey dad would handle it. Mm. Like, Jared be the dad, I'll be the kid. That's fair. Um, that's it. I was thinking that. All right. I like, like that. Hey, dad, like, I just, like, he comes out. Why don't we do two? Let's, let's actually keep it, like, short. We'll <laughs> do, we'll do, like, a minute and a half, and... Jer can be types of dads. Jer can be the dad that. Do you want to be the kid? Yeah, I'll be the kid. Okay, so Jer can be the dad. You can be the kid in both. Jer's the Jer's the dad that's taking it seriously. I'm. I'll be the dad afterwards. That you had, you had a bad game. Minute Madness. Uh, we got two different types of hockey dads. Two different types of hockey dads after a bad game. After a bad game. All right. All right. Here we go. Hey. And three. Two, it's start. you two I'll first. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Hey, dad. This is ab- absolutely ridiculous. Like, do, do, do you even do you even want to play? Yeah, I didn't think I played that bad. Like, uh, we drove an I hour had, and a I half. Had two good periods. I, I thought we talked about this in the car. You're taking. You're not ho- stopping on the line, right? On I the play. did, Dad. The coach said I had a good game. It's not what I saw up there. What really? was your plus minus there? I was on for a couple goals. That's because Max, my D partner, can't. Like, he doesn't ever. No, you know he pinches I, every time, Dad. I, I don't yeah, even want to hear it. He's always pinching. You're, you're always you're always blaming the other kids in the team when you know that you could take over, right? You should be leading this uh, go- this team in goals and dad, points. I'm on the def- I'm on defense, Dad. Well, your coach is an idiot. He's putting you on the, the third line with, it, with your well, deep partner. Well, that's because like that's because they say he can't skate, so they put me with him because I'm the only one that can yeah, skate. You're, you're at their babysitting. You're I their, know, Dad. I am. You're their babysitting. I don't know what, Dad. Like that's why I haven't been getting any points. It's because my partner stinks. Well, we talked about this. On the drive here, you need to step up, okay? It, it, if like, you know how much I pay for this, do you know much how, how much hockey costs? What is it? Uh, do you want me to go down the list again? Because I know you know the amount of hockey camps that you've gone through, the the summer hockey, the extra training, the privates. Do you want me to call Greg and cancel your privates? Well, Max is going to the same private. Well, I don't and know what his, his dad, and his dad just got him two new sticks. Well, how is he getting the, the first line minutes? Stick, how dad. how is he getting the first I need line a new minutes? Stick, dad. So it must be you then. My stick. I is... don't think it's a stick. Max just got two new sticks. You know what? I don't even want to talk. Don't don't even bring it up. I'm I'm putting on the radio on the way home, and just talk to me tomorrow. I'm I'm just too heated. I'm too heated. Can we stop at McDonald's or? And that was two minutes. Can we stop at McDonald's? <laughs> that was the perfect ending. <laughs> Can we stop at McDonald's? All right, now Hayden, you're right. like the bubbly dad. Yeah, well, I, I'm the I'm the dad that's just there to have fun. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, I I got the timer. I'll start. Go. All right. Door closes. <sighs> hey, kid. Hey, dad. You had a great game. You have fun out there. No, I didn't play. I didn't play very good. Oh, why? Why not? Well, coach said I. Got exposed a couple times on the back end, and he was saying I was pinching too much. Uh, well, you know, Coach, he takes things really seriously. He just wants the team to win. But even when you're losing, you can still have fun. I don't know. That's not what the players were saying. They were making fun of me in the room. What, what were they saying? Well, they were saying we lost because of my bad timing on my pinches. Oh, well, that's just not very nice now, is it? They make mistakes, too. I th- I'm going to have to talk to your coach about that. The, we're all out here. We're driving hours to play hockey, and no one wants to play if you're not having fun. So you you do you. You keep trying your best. I know, keep I... keep shooting the puck. Don't be don't be trying to pass it too much. You're you've got a great shot. I know. I just feel like yeah, the guys don't really like me because I it was the reason we lost tonight. Well, you know, if 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 they don't like you for who you are, then maybe they don't deserve to be your friend. You can be teammates, but you don't have but to be friends. They're all cool. They're all cool. They're all hanging out after, like, all five of them are carpooling together. Like, why don't we ever carpool with the other kids, Dad? Like, how, well, come, you, how come you're not friends with any of the other you guys? Know, the you team? know how Kevin and James are. They they it's like because, to get hopped up on sugar. Is it and because they're getting loaded in the parking lot? I'm pretty lot? sure their parent has a vape in the car that they just is, pass around. Like, I don't want because you. they're getting loaded in the parking lot and you don't want to party with them? 
No, no, of course not. It's got nothing to do with that. I just, uh, I just how want come, what's best for you. never hanging out with all the cool dads? Uh, well, I just, uh, you know, we're busy. We got a, we got a recital to no, go to. You never let me hang Claire's out. Claire's got a recital we got to get to. Why so. can't I ever go to Max's place? Because Max just doesn't share the same family values that we have. He's out there uh, being miserable, dust, it's kinda tripping dust. guys. It's dust, dad. Oh, all okay. the guys are always playing without me. <laughs> That's time. <laughs> Great improv. Great improv. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I, I cringe so hard. We're like, well, if they don't accept you for who you are, then they just don't deserve to have you. <laughs> it's so true, though. That's like modern parenting. <laughs> it's hilarious. Sometimes you do got to let the kid know he's got to step his game up. Yeah. And... <laughs> I think a happy medium between the two is probably where you should land if you're yes. looking for parenting advice. <laughs> Oh, that was great. All right. We're doing our final segment here. The the segment that everyone loves. We're going to be drafting the best phrases or sayings in hockey. All right. Love so like rock, things rock, that you say scissors. in hockey. Oh, we got to do rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, yeah. We're all three of us are going. So rock, rock paper, scissors. Oh, Jer first. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. I wanted Me second. To go, hey, I wanted to go last. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. If Chippy right. went second, he'd say I wanted to go second. <laughs> Drafting the best hockey phrases. First overall, just give me let's go. Wow. Let's go. It's a let's good go. one. It's a that's good a one. Universal. Use it I anyway. can't believe that went first, though. I mean, that's that's a good one, but I mean, it's kind of... Very general. It's, not, but it's I like very it. general, but I like let's it. Go. I mean, let's, let's go. go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. It, it, it boys. might be... I might have even taken let's go, boys over that. Let's, let's go, go, boys. Let's go is let's go, You want it to be inclusive, so... Yeah. I guess that's true, yeah. <laughs> Let's go give me first overall. Fair, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I like it. I'm going, this one, I'm not sure if you guys are going to like it, but I think this one gets the most playing time anytime you're playing hockey. Wait till Especially mine. in men's Wait till league. Mine. Short shifts, boys. Let's keep it rolling here. Short. That's a good one. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, short shifts, boys. Yeah, keep it rolling. Short shifts. All right. Yeah. I think I really like mine. Mine's just, hey, boys. Hey, pucks oh. in deep, boys. Pucks in deep. Yeah, pucks, pucks in, in deep. deep. Pucks in deep is a big one. Pucks in deep and get after it, boys. You're going pucks in deep? Right, pucks yeah. in deep and chase it, boys. <laughs> hey, boys. Yeah. Over the line and in. All right. All right. Number Love two. It. This one's tough because it, it can be used in a phrase, but I think I'm just going to go with a single word, and I'm just taking beauty. Use it in a sentence, though. Like, you have you're, to. You're a beauty. You're oh, a beauty. you're a beauty. She's a beauty. You're what a beauty. beauty. You're a beauty. That's right? a good one. Like, uh, he's can, a beauty. Can I take beauty? We're, we're, I'll give it to you, but for me, that's more in like the hockey lingo territory. But I'll give it to you because it I'll, can be used in a lot of sayings. I got, I got other ones. I can. No, no, that's fine. All right, all right give you me beauty. Give I'll me give beauty. you a beauty. That's a good hockey, very hockey specific. Like not a lot of other sports use beauty as a descriptor yeah, yeah, yeah. of a player. It's it's or used a teammate. In, so I didn't want to like it's used in a lot of phrases. It could be like, hey, coach, you're a beauty. Like, yeah. coach is like, hey, get out there for the yeah, power play. Yeah, Thanks, yeah. coach. You're like, a beauty. Give us, give, us, you know? like, give yeah. us the tone that you would use. Yeah, you're, you're a beauty. Yeah. That's give me tone. more. Give me what, more. Like, what a beauty. Holy. Well, you're a be- beauty goal. Beauty you're a beauty, goal. Mitch. What a beauty. Mitch is a beauty. Oh, I like Chippy's got that vocal, uh, yeah. like, depth to it. He's got it You're down. a beauty. You're, I'm, I'm yeah. in the room right now. You're a beauty, man. <laughs> All right, this one is often said in a bit of frustration when your team's not doing too good. We would know. Boys, make the easy pass. Make yeah, I like that. Make, hey, boys, make the easy. Hey, boys, why are we forcing it? Yeah. Make the easy pass, We're trying boys. to go for the stretch pass. It's like, hey, no, hey, just make the easy pass. Make the easy one, boys. Yeah. Hey. That's easy number two for me. All right, I like that. Um, mine's going to be, hey, boys, if you have nothing, high off the glass. Hey, guys. Oh, high off Hey, when in doubt, boys, just high and out, eh? Mm. High off the glass, boys. Yeah. Defenseman, defenseman, you get it back there, you got nothing, high off the glass. High off the glass. All right, you guys are using a lot of, like, Basically, what you would say, like in, it's a saying in the game, in the game. Yeah. All right. All right. High off the glass. <laughs> High off the glass. Well, that's what I thought it was. No, no, that's that's my, hey. my list is hockey sayings. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, this is hockey. Things you would say. I think Jared's gonna dial it in here. All right. I'm, gonna, I'm I'm dialed. I think Jared's got it here. He's been dialed. He's already dialed. <laughs> yeah. No, number three. Give me good game. You just, every game you say it ten times. Good game. Good, good game, game. Boys. Good game. It's a handshake. Hey, boys. That's a good, good game. game. Good game. It sees, good game. It sees a lot of uh, ice time. That's for sure. However many players on their team, unless they only have six guys that showed up. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that there's is. lots of good games getting thrown around out there. I'd say on average, it's at least fifteen good games per yes. game. You say so. That that's not a bad take at all. Um, I got another one here. 
We need to take more shots. This goalie seems shaky. <laughs> Yeah, I like oh, that. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Hey boys, this guy's shaky. <laughs> hey, hey boys, this guy's shaky. <laughs> yeah. Hey boys, this guy's shaky, boys. Hey, everything on net. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everything on net. Yeah. Everything. Okay, that's yeah, like that's the essence of what I was saying. Hey yeah. boys, everything on net. This guy can't. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you hey, everything. Hey boys, this guy's net. shaky. <laughs> yeah. Because I have said that. Like, hey boys, low glove. <laughs> just call it out. <laughs> especially yeah. especially U nine. It's just like you see that goalie stand and do a three sixty trying oh, to yeah. find the puck and then it goes in. You're like, okay guys, everything on net. Yeah. You, like you see that one thing that exposes the goalie. Uh huh. He is not the regular goalie. Everything on net. Yeah. I got one. I got one. Hey boys. Forwards, don't be afraid to use the point, eh? <laughs> hey, hey, boy, ah. hey boys, points wide open. I had that one. I had Let's use the point more, guys. Hey, hey, the D yeah, are wide open. Yeah, but hey, boys, the D are wide open, eh, boys? Yeah, I right had that. In the huddle, just so you guys know, eh? Forwards. That was boys, down there little, in my list. not even covering us. Yeah. Boys, wide open at the points and go to the net. <laughs> yeah, and it could be <laughs> completely a lie, too. You could be covered the whole game, but yeah, just because you didn't hey, get boys, the fuck enough. Hey, boys, points yeah, wide there's open. There's one moment where you open for like half a yeah. second. <laughs> boys, points are wide open, eh, boys? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, Jared, is this your fourth That's pick? That's hilarious. Uh, it's number four for me. Also, right. another generic one, but I, I say it every time I get on the ice, good shift. I always... That's a good uh, shift, boys. Good shift. Boys, great shift. shift. Good shift. Good shift. Good shift. Good shift. Hey, boys, heads up. Heads up. Good shift. Good shift. That also sees probably even more playing time than a good, good game. game yeah. good Literally shift. every shift. Good shift. Yeah. That's, that's, that's solid. Mine, solid. I, go, I alternate between good shift and uh, good hustle. Yeah, yeah. Good I, I hustle. Go, yes. Yeah. Sometimes... It wasn't the best shift, but they did try really hard, and then you hit him with the good hustle. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, these are just flowing to me now. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot, boys. Um, this one, I think you guys can appreciate. Um, and this one, it happens all too often, and it just when it does happen, it kind of like there's this feeling in your gut, but you know you're saying it. Even if the guy's on the ice, you're going to mumble it to the guys next <laughs> to you, and it's – that's got to hit the net. Can't be having that. Uh, yeah. That's <laughs> like the guy misses the net. <laughs> yeah, boy, the, hey, boys, that's got to be on net there, eh? Yeah. I, I said that twice last Boys, year. we got to yeah. hit the net there, eh? <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Uh, or like, yeah. how do you miss that? How, how does that not go in? How did that not go that's in? The dis- that's the disbelief that yeah. follows. You can't be having that. Yeah. Got to hit the net. <laughs> how, did th- how did that not go in? Like you turn the guy yeah. back. How did that not go in? Yeah. And all these, how come all, all these start with A, boys? I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A, boys? Uh-huh. A boys, that's don't. just universal. Here we we could have just called this draft drafting the best A boys. Yeah, exclamation! Hilarious. Yeah, at least yours and mine. All right, here we go. A yeah. boys, don't be telegraphing your passes here, eh? Hey, <laughs> Chris passes. I love Chris it. Chris passes. I love it. A boys, don't be telegraphing it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I I feel like this is just every like when it's between the first and the second period. The boys come to the bench. Yes, yeah. It's like the, the pep well, talk. Yeah. We could make a bingo card. Yes. Yeah, bingo yeah. Hey, boys, don't be telegraphing it, eh? We should yeah. do that for a YouTube video. <laughs> bingo, yeah. Intermission <laughs> or like uh, the, the break. Yeah. Bingo card. Mm-hmm. All right, Jerry, your last pick. Last one. This is hard. Can I use a single word or not? Nah? No. I, I kind of already did. No, uh, you can, but. No, no, I'll, 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 I'll take it off the list, but I'll, I'll share it after. Okay. Um, this one is, are you kidding me? And, and it can go both ways. You're on the bench, and someone pulls a ridiculous move, and you just go, are you kidding me? Right. Are you kidding me? Right? Yeah. But, th- but then there's also times when, like, someone gets buried from behind with a cross check. The ref doesn't call it. you kidding me? Yeah. You kidding me, ref? It gets a lot of use. Yeah. yeah. It's a, it it oh, plays in a lot of circumstance. Okay. Okay. So sometimes yeah. it's like, are you kidding me? Like after someone just pulls a ridiculous move. I was about to take this one, but I'm going to give it to you because it's in the same, yeah. are you kidding me, ref? Like, for what? Oh, no. I like that. Yeah. I like that. I don't know. I think you can Is have that, that one. Is that one solid? If oh. I have that one? Yeah. I'll give it to you. I yeah. That wasn't what I was going to pick either, so I don't mind that you jumped the line. Yeah, <laughs> I jumped the line. For what? <laughs> For what, Stripes? Yeah, yeah. no. That's, For what? That's very good. Because he fell? That's, yeah. that's literally every Stripe. hockey movie ever, too. Stripes. That's the first thing Stripes. they say. For what? Guy could have, like, murdered him. <laughs> For what? Stripes. The guy's lying in the corner in a coma. For what? For what, Stripes? He fell. <laughs> Dude, it, on his own. It, it, yeah. It's always after the most blatant trip, too. Like, a guy just full-on pulls someone else's feet out from underneath him. Refs are, for what? He for, tripped over my stick. Stripes, for what? Because a guy can't skate? Yeah. I used that last night. For what? All right. This last one here, it sees a lot of uh, a lot of time on the bench. You'll, 
you'll be saying it's another one where you kind of mutter it to your to your buddies on the yeah, bench yeah, yeah. while someone is doing this right and i was this is a toss up between two but i'm going with let's not get too fancy here boys chip and chase yeah yeah, yeah no yeah. moves on the blue line you know yeah. like <laughs> boys hey eh? yeah let's not be getting too fancy here boys yeah. eh? it's just it's a 1-1 game here like you can say let's not get be getting too fancy here and then insert any sort of generic like dump and chase. I'll also, I'll also hey, one man boys, back. No, hey, boys, no toe drags at the blue line. That's exactly what I wrote here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no toe drags at the blue line. <laughs> not too fancy. One man back. Yeah, like yeah. No, not too many people yeah. deep yet. Yeah, yeah, and there's just honorable mentions. Like, boys, hey, let's get on the back check, eh, boys? Yeah. Get the defense of the forwards. Yeah. Hey, boys, let's get on the back check up the middle here. Pick a man up. Pick I a had, man up. I had an honorable mention. Um, cover him. Cover him. Stay back. Yeah, stay him. back. You know, like. Boy. The, the D's going on a rush. You got to have one guy cover him, you know? Slot, boy. Someone in the slot. We might as well just name this one, aside from Jeremy's, things you yell from the bench, well, that, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So if, if, if you but, had to preface it with that, then I would have gone down the same page as you guys. Yeah, I think we had a bit. I, that was on me. Hey, boys. Bit of a hey, boys. Kneecaps. But the, yours, man. But yours knee might. Kneecaps. Shoot kneecaps. Shoot low, boys. People might like uh, yours because they're more generic to. Like just all of hockey, yeah. like on and off the ice. Let's go, beauty, playing. good game, good shift. Yeah, are you kidding? And then like those are those are more what I would say are like hockey catchphrases. Yeah. Whereas we were going for like hockey sayings, like, right? Like, like hey, boys, keep them yeah. low for the tips. Hey, boys, shoot for those tips. Yeah. Eh? Like yeah. it's it's because hockey sayings, it's not really one thing. It's like a a culmination of how you say it and like yeah. when you say it too. So so the one that I wanted to take was yep, because you just say yep. So like you you want that pass? Yep yep yep. There's right. a lot of yups. Uh, that's a lot of yups. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, right here. sometimes I go yeah, yeah, yeah. Though I don't yeah, go yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, yup, yeah. Yup. But it's same context. Uh, drop it, yeah. drop it, drop it. Back. I want that drop pass. It's a yup. Yeah. Yep. Uh, another one that I had on here was, uh, "Come on, boys, no drive bys, uh, no oh drive bys, hey, no poking for snakes, boys." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boys, well, too many of you guys were poking for snakes this game. Yeah. We're poking for snakes. Uh huh. Hey, boys. Another one that hey, boys, I say take a the lot. Body, eh? Another one that I say a lot. You're not gonna take the puck. Take the man. One guy high, one guy high, you know? Yes. Like, keep, well, a, like keep a man hey, high. Pu- hey, boys. Take the puck or the man, boys. Puck or the man. Yeah. Watch the high guy. Watch the high guy. Trailing. He's. Tra- <laughs> All right. That was a good one. I feel like I could keep going. Just, we, could just, we, could just, we could just keep going forever. I just close my eyes, pretend I'm on the we'll bench. We'll just play the Move music. to the middle, to the middle. Move to the middle. Off so, the- we'll just play the music while we're, while we're <laughs> spewing out. Watch your gap things. control. Off the boards. Yeah. Gap control. Use the boards. Thanks a lot for tuning in, everyone. You got two. You got two. I had my guy. The numbers. Gonna make hey. a real difference. Feed the poor. Mikey, 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 come to the bench, to the bench, to the bench.